Hi, welcome to PaintingLessonsOnline.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a blue orchid flower on a large canvas. First, we start with our drawing. If you're not very confident in your drawing skills, feel free to print out your image and grid it onto canvas. I have another video that shows you how to do that, but I'm just going to freehand it for this video. So I'm going to start with looking at the shapes and just lightly sketching them in, thinking about the composition. I'm looking at the angles and the proportions. Now I'm going to come in and I'm just going to kind of get the exact shape that I wanted. I started off with the basic proportion. Now I'm going to come in and be a bit more specific with my lines so that I know where I'm going to want to put all the different colors. Make a couple more small adjustments. Make sure I like how everything lines up. It's also important to step back and look at it from a distance so that you can make sure that you like it. Like, because it paintings really different from afar and up close. It can change the perspective and the positioning of everything. So let me check it out. It looks pretty good. Didn't really like the shape of this over here. I think that needs to come in a little bit more. Like that. Maybe even. Over like that. Alright, that's better. And I'm going to start by painting the background a really light blue color. I think it will look nice with the vibrant cerulean blues and purples and ultramarine blues that we'll see in the flowers themselves. So I've got my white and my blue and I'm going to make a really light blue. So I'm just going to add a very small amount of blue to my white. Baby blue. And with acrylic paints, um, depending on the quality of paint you buy, they tend to dry a little darker. So I like to mix an even lighter color than what I think we're going to need. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint around the outside of all the petals. Alright, I've got my first layer of light blue in the background. Now I'm going to start blocking in the different colors. I'm going to go with the French Ultramarine blue first, with some purple. Make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to add a lot of blue to a little bit of white, because I, I want this to be a pretty dark color. Add a small amount of purple. Then I'm going to look at my image and just block in the parts that have that dark color. I'm trying to do the brush strokes in the direction of the petal, so the petal growth and the design of the, of the colors in this flower is from the inside to the edge, so I'm 
and also it kind of curves depending on how big the pedal is. So you can see that I'm, I'm going up and down or I'm going from inside to outside and I'm also curving with the edges. There's several light purple areas, so I'm going to add some white and purple together and start blocking those in now. You can see that I'm adding the light to the inside to give it some pop. Alright, now I need to switch to a smaller brush. Now I'm going to go in and put in the shadows. that are behind, like so that these flowers behind this flower, so it's got to be darker for the negative space. Alright, so I don't have um, cerulean blue and acrylic right now, so uh, I'm going to do all of that in the oil colors. I'm just going to let this dry for a minute, clean my brushes, and come back and do some oils. To start with oil, we're going to first mix the colors that we want. I've got purple, cerulean blue, cobalt blue, and French ultramarine blue, and white. I'm going to make all the colors that I'll need. So I'm going to start with some French ultramarine blue, which is more of a purple blue. And I'm going to make three different versions. I'm going to make a medium, a dark, and a light. And I do that by having different amounts of white to blue. I'm also going to do French Ultramarine and purple together to make a, a very purple blue. And I'm going to also have a light and a medium version of that as well. When I'm painting, I can take the purple and the blue purple and add them together to create mid-tones as well. So these are just starting off colors and we're gonna even mix more like as we go kind of going around and doing blending as well. Now I'm going to do the really bright blues, the cerulean, so I'm gonna clean off my brush because it's got some dark colors on it or my palette knife. I'm gonna take some white and some cerulean blue, mix those together. medium, light, and now I'm going to make a darker version. Alright, and now I'm going to make a version of cerulean 
and cobalt together. And a dark cobalt. Good. I'm gonna try cobalt and French ultramarine together. Okay. Alright, so I'm ready to start painting. I'm gonna start with the lightest colors and then move towards the darker ones. I like to use these flat brushes. The flat line on the top makes it easy to make straight lines. Wrap around stuff. Okay, so the very inside of the orchids is white with this really light cerulean blue. So in the center, I'm going to put some white. And I'm still going with the brush stroke of the flowers going outwards in the shape of the flower. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to dip into the cerulean, light cerulean, and start adding that so that it kind of blends into the next color. I'm also going to rub it to the two colors, the white and the cerulean together, so that there's not just a straight line in between, but it kind of fades from white to cerulean. Sometimes if you brush up, it makes an, and you pull the brush away, it makes a nice line. Gives it that zigzag look instead of just a straight line that's all the same. Alright, now I'm ready to go to the next cerulean. And you can see I'm just using the same color going to Wherever it is in the picture, I see that color. Now there's a lot of this really bright cerulean in the painting. All around the outline of the flowers. Sometimes it's even brighter. Now I'm going to start painting the darker blues and purples and blending them into the teal that I've added.
I'm just going to go around and blend a bit more. I'm not going to over blend, I'm just going to get the parts that look like they're not quite finished. The line is just a little too separated in between the colors. Or if there's any parts of the canvas that are still showing through, any white parts, we want to get rid of those. The trick with blending is to do it until you like it and then stop because if you continue to do it, it'll keep changing and it'll just keep changing and keep changing. So once you like the effect, just say, okay, that's good and walk away. I hope you enjoyed learning how to paint blue irises on a large canvas. For more videos, please subscribe to PaintingLessonsOnline.com and I'll see you soon.